Dixon police arrested a 16-year-old in connection with an alleged sexual assault on campus. Tonight, CBS 13 has learned that the district attorney turned down the case. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is live at Dixon High School with the latest developments in this case. Lamore? Christina, Sam, that's exactly right. Police tell us tonight the district attorney isn't filing charges at all in this case, but parents tell us an alleged sexual assault on campus during school hours is unsettling, to say the least. Oh, I think it's terrible. It's the news no mom wants to hear. According to police, a student here at Dixon High was sexually assaulted on school grounds Monday between 8 and 8.30 in the morning. Police call it an isolated case, but that offers little relief to Dorothy Sorensen. Her boys teach at Dixon and grandkids attend the school. It's hard to believe because usually Dixon's so good. Police won't say exactly where at the school the alleged incident happened or if anyone witnessed it. Parents say classes had just started. I can't imagine that going on during class mm -hmm. and nobody knowing about it. Shelly Butler is upset the school didn't send out an alert notifying parents. I would think that we would have received, we get automated phone calls when issues happen. Parents are surprised to hear police made an arrest in the case. Police accuse a 16 year old boy of raping the Dixon students. Very, very scary. The district superintendent posted a message on Facebook cautioning people to refrain from making judgment. He writes in part, Please consider how you would want the situation to be discussed or commented upon if it involved a teenager that you loved and cared about, and act accordingly. Our work with the Dixon police will continue as the investigation into this incident moves forward. But late Wednesday, CBS 13 got word from police that the district attorney rejected the case. Whether the police investigation will go on or be dropped is unclear. Now, the school district has declined to comment beyond that initial Facebook post. Sam Christina. A lot of mysteries remain in this one. That's very clear tonight. All right, Lamar, thank you so much.